right, we just got home. It is time for the evening feeding. And so usually that's Greg's job, but today we're gonna do it together so that I can film an update um, on the animals, on what we've got going on. Plus, I called the electric company about this. And let me tell you what they said about that here in a little bit. The first thing we're gonna do, the first thing we're gonna do is put these two up. And it just like that. There they go. Got to give them fresh water and food. Grass is growing. You go start the watering. Okay. We're getting closer time for the um, the goats and the cows to have their babies. And so I need to come out and check on them. And I thought it would be a good time to bring you guys along. Let's go feed. I'm looking for bird feed. Just gonna throw a little bit down on the ground inside their their coop with them they probably won't eat it tonight anyway they'll eat it but just not tonight but i just i want to make sure they have some food we don't feed them a whole lot of food when we feed them but i want to feed them day and night and same thing with the goats i want to feed them twice a day so that uh we're able to see them and check on them I guess she is gonna eat some of that. I don't really have a reason for checking on these guys other than to find out why they got all this food on the ground. Supposed to be feeding them in this. Let's see if I can get them on the field. Two bark rock hens and two roosters. Don't know what kind of roosters though, but these are the bantams. brought their food over and it's under the tarp it's supposed to rain tonight tomorrow it's supposed to rain real good i dumped that out greg's gonna put fresh water in and i need to make sure that we get this covered up real good because it's supposed to really storm all right there we go they should be good for this storm Uh, we've got a goat out. <laughs> Which she should go back in. I wonder how she got out though. She should go back in when we when we go to feed. She's gonna show us how she got out. pebbles all fat rain and her baby that brown one is her baby we still don't have a name for her yet yet we've kept her and she's bred and this is of course river they're always hungry okay let's see if i can do this without hitting my head without getting move move excuse me Excuse, uh, really? Excuse me. Dump this one out. Excuse me, rain. Okay. Like they've been fed today. Like this is just, I don't know what, I don't know what the, what the problem is. They've been fed. They're not, they're not starving. Look at them. Okay. I'm coming out here today to, oh, Caleb. He's feeling good. 
to take a look at them. Now, the camera really doesn't do this justice, but you can see that she is pretty bred. And look, there's like that fishtail. They say they need copper. I don't, she always needs it. I don't know. We bolus her. We've, we've got some minerals for them. Um, they don't have any right now, but I'm gonna put some, give them some more. But see how this one, her coat, her tail, her, she's not gonna let me. Yeah, she is, okay. She looks pretty good. But Rain and her daughter, they, they look like they need some more, really Rain, some more minerals. Well, I gotta get out of here while they can still let me out. What are you doing, buddy? Are you being a good boy? Okay. Okay. Are you feeling better? He still has his little shave part where we had him treated for heartworms. But he is feeling good. He's running all over the place. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. That's a good boy. And honestly, though, I have seen him chasing goats recently, and that's not good. But he's feeling so good. He's a good boy. Okay. Okay, I got to get out of here for the goats see me leaving. And then they will. We've got to do something with the gate. We've got to get another gate. Because this is hard to get out of when the goats are here. Here they come. <laughs> she gone. When the goats know that we're leaving and they want out or they want to come with us or whatever it is they want, I don't know. They can, it's, it's hard to get out and get this shut up before, before they start coming through the gate. Isn't that right? Rain, are you a good girl? You've got food in there. Go eat. You guys are next. Just hang tight. You guys are next. This one's our heifer. Supposed to be bred. Looks bred, looks big. Look at that. I don't know if you can tell on camera or not, but this brown one definitely looks big. Again, you can't really see on camera very well, but we know she's bred. We gotta get hay for the girls. We gotta feed the boys and give them some hay. Okay, both the, the chickens, uh, the trash cans that has the chicken feed and the goat feed needs to be filled up. So you're gonna have to feed the boy goats their grain because there's not enough in the buckets like there should be. No, they're not messier than ducks. I have one inside. Nice try on the escape.
Rocky's uh, turned out to be a really, really good goat. He's really nice. Are you nice? To me, especially. Are you nice? He'll eat out of my hand. He lets me pet him. Come here, Chase. Mm. Come on, buddy. Come on in, Rocky. So, since it's supposed to storm, it's supposed to rain and storm, Greg's going to put their food into in the shelter. We usually, like, feed them over the fence there, but it's supposed to start raining about 3 in the morning and storm uh, a lot. Rain a lot and storm tomorrow. And he's putting minerals in there, too. What? Yeah, I know. Goat's out again. There's ours. She doesn't have a name. Uh-oh. 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 Problems. Problems, Greg. More problems than one goat out. Rocky, back over. You don't miss a bull. Greg? Oh, he got kicked. Told you. He's dizzy now, I'm sure. Come here. Oh man, he got kicked in the head. Don't get up there with them. Move. Okay, we can trap him right here. If you want to trap him. I think he doesn't see that that's open, but we can trap him right here in the corner. I'll drop this. Well, they need water bad. Okay. He's here trying to get out again. I'm gonna guard it real close. He seems to be okay, he's doing okay. He got kicked in the head, but uh, pretty sure goats have hard heads because they ram into each other and things all the time. And the bull didn't kick real hard. I mean, he wasn't being aggressive. He was just trying to get the goat away from him. Chase acts like he's scared of you. Like, he leaves. This one isn't. He comes towards us. But every time you go out there, Jake uh, gets out. I mean, not Jake. Chase. He gets out and runs around the shed. And then when you come out of the shed, he comes back around and goes back in. When he thinks uh, you're not in there. You got to speak up. Well, that's not a good sign here. He's checking her out, hopefully. Uh, not because she's not bred. Hopefully he's just checking. This is uh, my friend's heifer. We're hoping all these are bred. I think she is, actually. I think she's uh, starting to bag up a little bit. Hopefully. Jake, what are you doing? Don't do things like this. They better be bred. Just saying. Jake, you've been here since the 4th of July. 
If you haven't gotten it taken care of by now, well, I don't know what to tell you because you're fixing to leave. He decided he didn't want me doing my job Who? By putting the chickens on him. Who? Blizzard. Who? Blizzard. Okay. So I just picked him up, held him. We had some quality time when we were putting Quality him time. Yeah, he was like trapped. He was like, <laughs> That's not quality. Do that. <laughs> <He's> like, <"Aah!" laughs> That's not bonding. <laughs> it's like, you just. <laughs> You're gonna be a punk to me, I'll be a punk to you. No wonder he chases you. Caleb! You gonna stay out here during the storm? You keep hey. that goat inside. Come here, goats! I'll try to get him over here. Come here, goat! Rain! River! Hey. Come on! Come on! While he's running the hay out there, I'll try to make this update really quick. It's getting dark. Um, well, it's, it's cloudy, too. It's getting late, but it's also cloudy. So we're kind of in a hurry. But uh, I called the electric company about getting an electric pole. I was told someone that we're going to hire to help with the, the tiny home. I was told that he said, I mean... He told me that I would probably need to get a another pole out here, another electric pole out here, and uh, to run electric to Greg's tiny home and to the shop. Shops right here. There's the the shed that will be his um, home, and there's my house. So I called the electric company and got a hold of this woman and told her I had a a shed that I needed to get electric to, and I told her a shop that I need to get electric to. So I already live there. But um, I need to get electric to those two places. And I said, and, the, and uh, someone had told me, a guy, a construction guy told me I probably needed to get a pole set for that. And uh, she was not the nicest woman in the world. Um, she told me, let's look at the turkey real fast. What are you doing, Blizzard? Look at her. So we put ash from the fireplace there. I guess we probably shouldn't put it there. I put it there because it's out of the way. <laughs> yeah, we probably need a new place for that. We need to fill in this hole <laughs> and put ashes out towards the middle so that they can they can get it. We need to nail this up because the cows are pulling it down. We are falling apart out here. We're not getting our stuff done. I see eggs. Want some quality? Yeah, because I pulled them out earlier. Oh. Okay, hey. Blizzard. Hey, listen. Because it's gonna rain. Hey, it's not muddy. I'm coming in. I mean, because it's gonna rain, Greg, tonight, Greg, because it's gonna rain, we're gonna um, fill that up and we're gonna put it in here instead of having it in the garage and feeding them in the morning. Is that an egg? No, that's not an egg. How's everybody doing? Hello. There's mine over there. Right down there. That ain't yours. Oh, she's my pet. No, she's not your pet. <laughs> <laughs> pet. <laughs> hello, hello. What are you guys doing? Oh, he's all tough. Yeah, we've had some anyway, time Hey, listen. I saw him trying to breed with one of the, the, the blue slate hens. So, um, hope, hope, hopefully soon that... The, the turkeys will start laying. We got chickens laying all over the place, but hopefully we'll get turkeys laying and we can collect some, some eggs from the turkeys, fertilized eggs. Who are you fisting at? Jake. Get hurt, Rocky. Well, Rocky, it, that's not Jake. Jake has mine. Yeah. Mine too. Okay. He's still checking her out. Stop. He's still checking her out. I'm gonna watch this. Hey, go get food. Go get food and water because we're running out of light. Uh-oh. Not what I want to see. But I think she's bred. I like, I don't know how to tell. They're fat. They're cows. They're fat. They're like, it looks like they're bagging up a little bit or one or two of them, but who knows? I don't know cows. Hey, feel that halfway. Um, I lost that. What? I lost it. 
Okay, halfway and put it in their coop so it doesn't get wet. Anyway, so usually we, we, we fill it halfway and leave it in the shop and then bring it out in the morning. Try not to like attract any kind of animals. Even though they stay in the coop there, we, we put it out here in the mornings along with our water, but it is supposed to really storm tomorrow. So I'm gonna have them fill it up halfway and um, put it in there. Cause it's supposed to start raining about three in the morning. <clears throat> and depending on what it's doing, when Greg gets up and it's time to do his chores, let me, I don't know how to finish that sentence. I'm going to wait to see what the weather's like before I decide whether he's going to come out here and feed everybody or not. They can wait and be fed in the evening. We feed twice a day. And like I said, that is just to, to put eyes on all the animals and see, make sure everybody's okay. But, okay, so back to, um, the electric company, I, I told her that we, we talked to a guy who does construction and he says that we would probably need to get a pole out to get electricity to those things. And this woman told me that I needed to get a perk, two perk tests done. She said I needed a perk test um, because I would need two of them. And well, later in the conversation, I, I found out she meant, didn't mean two poles, she meant two meters, but she said I, really? I would need to get um, two of them, so it'd be 825 times two. And I would have to get a perk test for the both of them. Or an exemption letter from the city or county. And I'm like, a perk test? I said, it's just a shed. I didn't tell her it was going to be a tiny home, but I said, it's just a shed and a garage. A shop. Not a garage. A shop. I said, Oh, she also told me I had to get 911 address for both of them. Like each of them needed a, a well, I thought she was talking about a pole because a pole was what I had asked about. But she had two meters, two 911 addresses, and two perk tests. I said, this is, you know, I said, I live there on the property in a house. And in the back is a shop that was there when I bought the place. And now we've got a shed. And we've decided we want electric, run electric to both the shed and the shop. And, um... The girl, the, the, they need to, they need to eat. You can eat later. No. He's wanting to know the story, but I'll tell him here in a minute. I'll let him watch the video before I upload it. But anyway, so I said, it, it, I live there already. There's already a 911 address. It is a shop and a shed. Like there's nobody living there. Um, and um, she said, she says, ma'am, I'm just telling you, hush, I'm talking. This is important. She said, ma'am, I'm just telling you how we, what we do. This is how we do it. And so there was a little bit of, um, like static on the phone. I thought I could understand her. So, but since she was telling me I needed to get a perk test for a shed and a shop, I thought, well, may, maybe I am misunderstanding what she is saying. I said, are you saying, I said, I'm having a hard time understanding you. And I'm having a hard time understanding this. Are you saying perk test like for a septic tank <laughs> i don't know if i can tell the story here i said are you t are you telling me i need to get uh, a perk test like for a septic tank for a shop and a, sh and, a, and, a and a shed and she said ma'am i don't know what it's for i don't i don't know anything about that all i know is what we require <laughs> i'm like well <laughs> Usually a perk test is like for putting a septic in, you know, for, for toilets and, and, and stuff. I said, are you saying, are you saying perk? Like I got something on my, I got something on my hat. I said, are you saying perk? Like P E R K. Now I, I, I realize it's P E R C, but, um, I said, are you saying P E R K perk? And she's hesitated for a minute and she said, yes, ma'am. I'm perk test. And I said, I said, okay, um, so, so it, you said 825 times two, so it's going to be, I have to have two poles, and she said, no, ma'am, you have to have two meters, and it's 825 for each meter, I said, so I'm going to have, I have electric at my house, and so I need a meter, I have a meter for that, I have a meter, so I have to have a meter for the, for the shed, and I have to have a meter for the shop, and so I'm going to have three electric bills, and she said, yes, ma'am, okay, um, okay, all right. Thank you. Thank you. That's, that's like, I, I was so frustrated. I couldn't ask any more questions. I should have, I should have just like ended the conversation sh sooner and called back or asked to, um, speak to somebody who could tell me 
what she was talking about as far as a perk test goes because I mean surely that wouldn't have been offensive if I'm trying to find out what kind of perk test I'm getting right but I mean like yeah she's telling me I needed a perk test for the shop and for the shed and cars are driving by watching me film driving by slowly actually uh, so perk test for the shop for the shed and uh, two meters, two 911 addresses, three electric bills. Y'all tell me in the comments what you think about that. I called dad kind of upset, kind of frustrated really. One, the price and, and for, for, for the meters, the price for the meters alone and, and, and I'm possibly a perk test. I happen to know that where we're living here in Oklahoma, that there's not much going on as far as, um, regulation on on building and stuff like that so i could probably get an exemption if i needed to but it's not necessary across the street mom and dad are building a house they got a pole they got a pole put up and a meter no perk test so um i called dad frustrated he said remind him tomorrow and he would uh he would get on it and, and see what he could find out about it but uh that's what we're waiting on on greg's uh tiny home that's the next step is to get electricity to it and then plumbing, of course he is by the septic tank. We have two septic tanks on that house. Two people, two septic tanks, one house. So <laughs> we put the shelter right by a septic tank that we could hook up to. So that's not, that's not gonna be a problem. Let's look at them. Have we, have we watered everybody? I know, I'm gonna water uh, these three out here. Two goats and this, these chickens afterwards. Okay. Well, you need to hurry up because it's it's getting dark. I'll do it in the dark if I have to. No, I need you to go. I'm not gonna. I need you to go. She's not wanting me to look. She's she's big though. Like. Oh, the camera's not showing it well, but she's really big. Here's our heifer. So, uh, these, these three right here, well, that one right there is my heifer, right? These other three belong to a friend. They're going to come out and get Jake within the next two or three weeks. I don't know when, because all three of these potentially could give birth starting in April, beginning of April. Ain't that right? I, I almost forgot we've got death layers over here that we need to feed and water, cover up, and I wanted to, to show them off to you because they are getting bigger. I'm pretty sure I have a hen and a rooster, but let's go look at those. They've already set themselves up for the night, so I'm going to feed them, give them some water, drink all their water there. So I'm going to feed them some of this. We usually um, put chick starter in that thing right there and so um but they're getting bigger so we be kind of weaning them off of that but i'm gonna pour a bunch of this this is like a, a lot this is not usually what we feed but like i said i don't know what the weather's gonna be in the morning so i want to make sure that they do have something to eat now, <coughs> dirty dirty eddie be quiet i'm filming <coughs> i'm fi i'm filming anyway so i don't know what it's gonna <coughs> Dirty. I don't know what it's going to be like in the morning, so I want to make sure that everybody has plenty of uh, food in the morning and water so that if we can't get to them until the end of the day, um, they'll be good. Gertie, you got to stop. They've been here all day. Who got down? See that light? That's one of the reasons I put it here. I put them here. This is not a real good cage, but well, that didn't last long. But I put it here because there is a motion detector light here, and then. Um, at least one of the dogs, usually Tucker, is right here. So just him barking at whatever 
um, should take care of it. And then uh, Caleb is is over here with the goats. So both of them barking at night and they do bark all night. Hopefully keeps the predators away. 